the popularity of coffee can't be overstated. More than 80% of Americans drink it. There's a cafe on every city corner peddling it. Many feel they can't face a day without it. And it's all thanks to caffeine's remarkable ability to manipulate our brain chemistry. This is Your Brain On, where we explore how the world affects our brains and ourselves. On a structural level, caffeine is strikingly similar to adenosine, which is a tiredness hormone in our brains. Adenosine accumulates as the day goes on, locking into neural receptors and making you tired as the hour grows late. While you sleep, the amount of adenosine slowly declines. But caffeine disrupts this natural process. It fits right into the receptors for adenosine, blocking the real thing from binding to brain cells. So instead of becoming tired, we feel more energetic and alert. That coffee fuel change to the adenosine process kicks off a chain reaction affecting other neurochemicals too. When it's blocked from binding to receptors, adenosine floats around in the brain, causing the adrenal gland to release adrenaline. The adrenaline signals your body to make changes like speeding up your heart rate, increasing the feeling of energy, alertness, and even muscle strength. These same effects can give you the java jitters too. Meanwhile, as the adenosine is blocked, other natural stimulants work more strongly. Take dopamine, which is involved in pleasure and arousal. It's actually like a much milder form of the euphoria created by drugs such as cocaine. But after about six hours, the caffeine starts to wear off, and adenosine begins to take its place. So you find yourself reaching for another cup amid an afternoon slump. And when you keep filling that coffee mug daily, the caffeine begins to change your brain. The cells grow more adenosine receptors, which is why over time it might take more caffeine to get you going. And it's also why quitting coffee cold turkey can cause withdrawal, with symptoms such as low energy and headaches. But if you do want to take a break from the coffee, power through it. After about 7 to 12 days without caffeine, your brain will reduce the amount of adenosine receptors back to their natural levels. So you can stay alert, coffee free. Hey NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.